The feeling was um, very humbling. I felt honored to be nominated. Completely flattered and honored. Incredibly humbled. I'm very honored. Happy, delighted. Excited for the opportunities that have come. Just wow. Really exciting just to be nominated. I was surprised. I was honored. I was not expecting it and I was really flattered. I was very honored. It was just wonderful to be recognized for your effort. It feels nice to be noticed. It feels um, like someone is seeing what you're doing and why you're working so hard. People saw what I was doing and trying to do with my students. So it just feels really special. In the teaching profession, we aren't told when we are doing good things. So often, we are teachers tend to be very humble and we do what we can for our kids and we do programs and we bring in special things and we just don't ask for recognition. We're pretty low key and we don't grow attention to ourselves. We've said before that we are the ones that are likely to push aside um, congratulatory notes or to say, oh, it was a team effort um, or, or pass along the credit to somebody else because as teachers, we are a collective unit and we see ourselves as being lifted up by one another or working collaboratively. And those are innately qualities of teaching. So to have someone look at you and say, you did these things that make me feel like you deserve to be the teacher of the year is something that you don't take lightly and you, you get to bask in that a little bit and recognize that you have made a difference for at least one child. I accepted my nomination because I want to be a voice for the students and for my district. The fact that she nominated me is what made me go ahead with the application. Usually I don't go ahead with the application. I, I'll be honest, I was really hesitant at first. I just felt there were so many other people that deserved it. I just do what I do. I, I put my head down and I teach and I take care of my students and my community. Um, I'm not big on lauding myself or putting myself out for kudos. But then once I realized what opportunities I would have for this, this is about your students, this is about teachers in the state of Maine, this is about your community, and this is an opportunity that you have to shine a light on our community and our amazing school. To be in a position where I could be a further leader for educators across our state. I really want to be an advocate for my colleagues and also for our students to improve education. As a special educator, they're just students that have some challenges, but they're just so amazing and work so hard. I work all year teaching my kids that they have a platform. It was time, if I'm preaching that to my students to step up and take your accolades, then I should probably do that also. And okay, this is my chance to show them that um, I'm going to use my platform to make a difference uh, for them too. Being named the Washington County Teacher of the Year is such an honor as it gives me the opportunity to shine a light on the amazing things and incredible teachers at my school and in my county. And those people are true champions of the profession. Teachers play a very vital role in students' lives, which has become increasingly challenging during the past three years. And this is going to be an incredible opportunity to network and share and learn from other educators across the state. It means that I get to advocate for climate change education for every Maine student and so that we can collectively move the needle in the right direction, giving all of us hope. I try to teach my eighth graders about how powerful their words can be and this is a chance for me to serve as a role model and show them truly how powerful it will be for me to use my voice. The educators that I work with on a daily basis are truly remarkable change makers. To be chosen to represent them is as much an honor as it is a responsibility.